Hi guys, got a new video, new product. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi LCD. Now, you can buy Adafruit LCDs. Um, this isn't a Raspberry Pi one, but I'll just quickly show you. Um, they're I, I square C ones. Now, the Raspberry Pi, at the Adafruit version is pretty much the same as this one, and it uses a dip chip and this and that and all the rest of it. Um, you could also buy a cheap Sane Smart one. Now here's a Sane Smart one. It uses a, a SOIC um, 26 pin. They're all 26 pin. The Adafruit one is also 26 pin. Um, this one's really, really odd. But anyway, I made my own. And there's a difference between the ones that I made and the ones that I've just showed you. Um, is that it's for a Raspberry Pi 2, Raspberry Pi 3, and it actually also works on a Raspberry Pi Zero. So, um, I haven't soldered all of this down because I want to show you guys um, everything. So let's take the LCD off. So, first things first, is it has a TSSOP on it, which is a nightmare to solder. I'm telling you, it was. And I did it by hand, by the way. Um... That was all done by hand, no stencils, no oven, anything like that. I've got it on 10 mil stands. Also what I've got is I've got the 40 pin header, not 26 pin header. And again, I've got it on stands as well. And um, this is just what I've done. These are not how they will come. You can do, you'd have to do this all yourself. But anyway, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reassemble this also got a hand crank knob not a screwdriver one as well which is good um, I'll just quickly show you the buttons actually one on there so you've got your left and your right left on the left most right on the right most your select and then you up and down the up one is slightly higher the down one is slightly lower so you hopefully you shouldn't get mixed up with it so that's how it is okay so now I'm just gonna put that all back together again and then we'll show you it. So now I've got my cameraman holding it for me. Oh, camera lady, it's my daughter. So there we go. So, um, so I just quickly show you. That's why I haven't screwed it all down because I wanted to be able to dismantle it to show you. But that's how I've got it. Those are 10 mil standoffs. Those are 25 mil standoffs, one inch. Um, got an extra long header on there. And what I've done is I've left. The upper head is on there. Apart from the i twos, the i squared C two, uh, the two pins SD and SDL, which you can't use, you can actually use all the rest of the pins for whatever project you might want. So now what we're going to do is, we have got a Raspberry Pi um, two here. So I'll just quickly show you that. It's a Raspberry Pi two model B version one point one. So this is how it plugs in. So we're gonna plug it in. And as you can see, fits perfectly. Fits perfectly. And it lines up with the holes perfectly. So all the holes line up, the holes line up. And also, you got beautiful clearance all around. Lovely clearance all around. So let's fire this up. So we've got power. And yes, I did solder it all by hand. And there we go. LCD works, so down, up, enter. It's going to say failed. Okay, so that's that. So now what we're going to do is Take the SD card out, uh, pull the plate off, and we have to, oops, put the SD card in this one, and that's a Raspberry Pi 3, model B 1.2. Plug it in, 
lines up perfectly again. All perfect lining, everything lines up nicely. I'm going to give it power. And there you go. And if you wanted to adjust it, just adjust it with your fingers. You don't have to use a screwdriver, which is the great thing as well. And last lot, that's the one that I didn't think, I didn't wasn't sure if it would work or not, so that's why it's not written on there. But it but we're gonna to prove to you, so I'm gonna plug it into a zero. This this zero's got a um a zero four on it, which is just a USB hub. And uh, plug that in. Now it lines up again. Now obviously you've got the screw headers there for the zero four, so that's why it's not pushed in fully, but it does push in fully and everything. And what we're gonna do is SD card. Can't forget the SD card. I'll plug the SD card in. Here we go, and we're going to power it up. I always forget this bit. Bear with me. And um, power, yep, yeah, power in. Don't want to give the USB power, do we? So I'll plug that in for power. So that's powered. And there we have it. Works on a Pi Zero as well. And I accidentally <laughs> moved it while we did that. If you, because I've not got the LCD screwed down, if you move the LCD, it's Freezes it. So let's just do that again quickly. And there you go. Okay. Now, one other thing about the Pi Zero is you don't have network on this, so sometimes you can't use this, like especially Pi Force. So there is a workaround, and that's why I've left these pins spare. And the workaround is this. I haven't done it all, sorted it all out and everything, but I've got it ready to do. And that's using one of these. If you use one of these, put it onto the headers, it usually does work without any drivers straight off. Or you can use one of those USB ones, that's why I've got the USB hub on there. There's a USB one that you can get as well, that gives you all that LAN and everything. So there we have it. So these new LCDs, I've got 10 of these available. They will go on eBay. Um, they will be up for sale. Um, when I do sell them, they won't come with all these standoffs and things like that. So you'd have to get your own standoffs. What I'll do is I'll let you know what that size is. I think it's 25 mil, but I'll let you know. And this header will be soldered for, for the standoff, so you can order the standoffs yourself. And I'll tell you what size they are. Those are 10 mil standoffs. But again, some people don't want to have it removable. So if you don't want it removable, then it's five, I think it's five mil standoffs you need, which would be down there because it'll be just soldered straight onto the board. Personally, if you're soldering it straight onto the board, you don't really need any standoffs on it at all. Um, you just have it so it's like that, and it, it it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't move. But that's not going anywhere. So you just have it like that if you want. So there we have it. You know. Another product. 
Thanks for watching the video.